Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell. Well, about my scale. I will call it scale now. About my scale. Ah, uh, I said I had this this uh, display. I want to use this display for presenting how much how much weight there is on my load cell. Mm -hmm. So I will do this. And actually, I looked into the data sheet, and it looks like it's the same. So it should be ground. Power supply, then contrast, power supply of the LC driver, it's called. Then there is some data line uh, to, the, to the Arduino. Then there is read or write, I will put this to ground. Then there is also some data clock line. Then there are some data lines. And the last two, 15 and 16, they are not connected. Why are they not connected? Because usually there is the backlight. So it seems like it is exactly the same. So I will add now here cables to this and we will see. I will directly solder them because I think it should be, it should be fine, I think. All right, all right, so I soldered now all the connections and actually what I did, what I did, let's focus, what I did, look, look what I, what I connected. Now oh, we yeah. are, now oh, we are here. So I read also from the, from the data sheet. So the red one, the red, no, the blue one. The blue one is connected to ground terminal of module. All right. The red one is power supply of module 5 volt. The, the gray one here on pin number 3, this is uh, connected to power supply of liquid crystal drive. So actually that's the contrast. Then 4, 
This is the green one. This is register select, instruction register or data register. Five, read write, one write, zero, uh, one read, zero write. I will directly connect this to zero, this is the black line. Uh, then six is start enable signal to read or write data. So this is the yellow signal. And then we have four data bits. Yeah. Uh, DB4, this is orange, white, purple, and brown. The last ones are the data bits which will be connected. Yeah. And the last, the, the last two ones, they are not connected because they are uh, the backlighting and this panel has no backlighting. Okay. So soldiering is ready. Uh, here is the Arduino. Here is a breadboard. Place the Arduino on the breadboard. And now I want to connect all this stuff uh, and try it on the computer. Here. Here we have the load cell. Everything's everything's here. Now even in focus. Yeah. Panel, Arduino, load cell. Here we have the ADC. I need some plugs still, but there will be somewhere. Uh, and then we I'm going to connect this and try with the computer. I will select some bits, pins at the computer. Yeah, switch to computer. All right, so I need to connect this somehow. So I need plus and minus, of course. I will put this ground here, ground, and red is five volts, five volts here to here. Okay, then I will power supply this module, this module as well. This is the red one is the red one is is red. <laughs> the red one is plus five volt. Good. Connect. And the black one is minus. This, this is ground. I use a blue strip. Connect. And then I will start simply at the at the end. So I need the clock and the D pin. What is this? D out and okay. The D is then 12, 13, 13 also. Okay. 12 and 13. Why not? The D is orange. It's 12. And this is 13. Then I fixed the load cell. Okay, load cell shall work. And now I have to connect the panel. The panel does plus and minus. This is easy. Here, minus, plus. Then we do have the contrast. The contrast I will use, I don't know, a 10K, 210K. Let's say I'm using two 10K resistors. Here, 10k resistors as as voltage divider. Then I have half. It's a good place to start in the middle. So here, from plus to somewhere, and from somewhere to minus, both are 10k. So in between, I should have now 2.5 volts. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, go in, hop up, okay, so in between we should have here 2.5 volts, okay for me, clickety click. Then I will use the data lines, I will simply start here 10, why not, then I have one spare in between, 10, Bam. OK, 
Okay, next one is lila, purple, nine. Okay, next one is white, eight. Next one is orange. Okay, these are the data lines, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we need uh, the two lines, uh, the black one. I will also place to ground because I only want to write. This is fixed. Yeah. Good. And the this one, the green one, I will simply place it here to five and six green and yellow. Good. So that's the hardware setup. Okay, now I have to find a proper cable that I can connect my Arduino Mini to the computer. Sound. And we'll see what is happening. So power on. All right. Power is on. All right. So actually, if I'm switching here to Arduino Uno Mini, Arduino Mini, Uno Mini, I think this is the correct one. Nano, that's the correct one. Arduino Nano, I hope. We'll see. Com board 4. Uh, here the load cell. This is a uh, set on 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. Upload. This should already work, right? This should already work. Okay, maybe it's not the correct nano. Maybe this is this one is the correct one. I'm not sure. Not in sync. It's for sure come for. Maybe this one, old bootloader, old bootloader, this might be. Starting up load cell. All right, looks good. Yes, load cell is working. Okay, now I found the correct board. Uh, load cell is working. So the only thing we have to add now is this liquid crystal display. Yeah. And Therefore, I have already prepared something uh, and I will just, just copy this because we are including a library, Liquid Crystal it's called. Liquid Crystal, all right. Then here from an old program, I simply copy some definitions yeah, and it will also define here load cell dt is 12 load cell uh, clock is 13 okay then we had this was 10 9 8 7 actually and this enable was then 6 and 5 this should do the trick, yeah, this should do the trick, liquid crystal, here I will write load cell, all right, and then I will also call here lcd dot begin, and here I have to give 
the number of columns and the number of, number of, of rows. Uh, CD dot set cursor zero zero LCD dot print Heinz All right, and here I will say uh, LCD dot set cursor LCD dot print load lcd dot print grams some spaces hmm. this should already display something so I have initialized the LCD, I set the cursor 0, hand scale, I've written something, hand scale, and, and nothing. And nothing. Great. Great. Ah, I think I have this wrong. Enable and RS. What is written in the in the data sheet enable is, is the six pin so this is yellow yellow is on green rs register select five yeah but this is the case uh-huh uh-huh ah haha <laughs> it was the brightness settings it was the brightness settings. Now it's written something. Now it's written something. I'll show you. You see? Ha ha. Heinz killed. Give, give away the. <laughs> so this is. It should be closer to the ground. The contrast should be grow closer to the ground, so I will not use here 10 kilo, 10 kilo ohms. I will use here 1 kilo ohm. See how this looks like. 1K, what is this? What is this? It's 10K as well. What is this? 220, this is maybe a little bit... Yeah. Good, let's open this one. This is 1K, 1K. Here, 1K. Let's see. Ah, oh, this was the wrong one. Okay, it's still oh, looking good. Okay. Hmm. Hooey. So I have also here some 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 troubles. Heinz scale. This is looking pretty nice now. I must say. Right, so basically it's working. Basically it's working. This is great. This is great. Good. Then, thank you very much for listening. Next time, we'll make this a little bit more beautiful. Yeah? But this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.